Hey, it's that party time of the year again. You know what I'm talking about. Good old St. Patrick's Day is coming up this Saturday. Today is Wednesday, and what I'm going to do right now is go and go over and pick up a system from Guru Number 2. And I'm going to do the parade route gig for him, as well as a band in a bar. It's going to be kind of a dual action thing, but first thing I have to do is go get the equipment. Because getting it on Saturday morning not going to work. I have to be there. I think a call time about 8.45 in the morning next to the stage, making sure that I'm setting everything up. And uh, I'd rather just fill up the Astro right now. Guys, guess what? It is St. Patrick's Day Part 1. That's right, St. Patrick's Day is actually next Friday, but here in Pittsburgh, they celebrate it for the whole week now. Uh, we're on our way down to the St. Patrick's Day Parade, where I'm going to be setting up Guru Number 2 system on a stage. The plan has been laid out, and I know what I'm going to have to do. It's going to be all good, I hope. Um, just to give you a little bit of an idea of what we're doing. Four speakers covering a huge range. Crank it up as loud as it will go because there's going to be Irish music as well as newscasters that are going to be, uh, I guess, officiating, not officiating, moderating the parade. We're also going to send their truck a feed so that they will be able to go and broadcast. And, you know, our sound is going to be responsible for the broadcast, isn't that awesome? Anyway, I'm gonna set up that system and then I have to take a bit of a hike up the street, uh, about five blocks to a bar and set up a van. Uh, the system should be set up already. All I have to do is go in, meet and greet the band, get them plugged into everything they need to be plugged into, set their line levels, make sure they can hear themselves on stage, and then let them rip for a good 15 minutes, make sure that they're comfortable. And then I gotta walk all the way back to the parade and tear everything down, put everything back in the truck and take it back out to Guru 2's. That's the plan. Right now we're sitting and waiting for G4. G4 is going to be sitting and babysitting the equipment on the stage while I do my big walk, mix, and walk back. I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. It's going to be a weird one. It's going to be a weird one. Here we go. Okay, so the parade is going on. I've got my stage set up with sound. It's as loud as it can be for that reviewing stand. Um, I'm gonna start my walk to the second venue. the 
side to New York City Fair. It's tired of wind and rain and stormy weather. We all sat down to have a drink and we each other well. Said we would Okay, so Guaranteed Irish is up and going. They're doing their thing. I'm going back to the stage downtown to hopefully just tear it down and go home. I'm hoping that's what it is. The guys from Guaranteed Irish, really nice guys. They're, they've probably been doing that particular gig for like 30 years or something like that. They just wanted to be able to um, be set, make sure they can hear each other, no feedback. And I'm out of there. <laughs> it was just that simple. When I first got there, there's a guy who performs with a guitar and himself singing, which is not a big deal at all. Um, but he's never on any list. He's just kind of there. So I'm not trying to be a prude or anything. So I just let him play, you know. But it's all good. I'm on my way back downtown. <sighs> well, four or five blocks. Okay. Yep. <laughs> oh, beads! paramedic and rescue ambulance helping us to possibly wind down the St. Patrick's Day parade today. What an amazing group of people. Thank you once again. The folks that are here, I just wanted you to stop and pause and thank these paramedics and these EMS workers here in the city of Pittsburgh for doing what they do every day. Let's give them a warm round of applause. All the first responders, all the veterans who came out today, we truly appreciate your service. Everybody here working so hard to keep Pittsburghers safe and all these visitors to the Pittsburgh area. And it does look like the Pittsburgh St. Patrick's Day Parade is beginning to wind down. We have been here for hours watching so many different elements of this parade. Just celebrate everything Irish, celebrate Irish heritage, and celebrate the city of Pittsburgh. Diane Burns has been with me, and it's been a joy to be with you here and learn a lot about Irish heritage as city police are kind of making their way down to send people on their way to their celebrations today. Well, Shannon, this has been a real pleasure for me, and I'm so sorry I lost my voice. I mean, it's, you're going to be like a lot of these Pittsburghers today who are about to lose their voice later this evening, so... <laughs> But I haven't done anything to make it go away. I just have to get it back. I need over tomorrow's you show. You will. You will. Yeah, you need to be on the radio tomorrow. So just from everyone at WTA Chan w WTAE Channel 4, everybody here at WTAE Channel 4, I'm Shannon Perron. I want to say thank you for joining us for Pittsburgh St. Patrick's Day Parade. I hope you have a safe and enjoyable rest of your St. Patrick's Day. Goodbye, everyone. Well, the idiot check is done. We are out of this. It was a great St. Patrick's Day. 
I ran and covered two gigs at the same time with the help of G4. The St. Patrick's Day Parade is over. As you can see, the guys are tearing down the stage. And we'll see you guys at the next gig. Peace. As we were pulling down the system downtown, I got a text message from guru number three. I'm not feeling well, can you help me out? Sure, I can help you out, that's what I do. He said, I'm sure you're gigging tonight. I said, as a matter of fact, I'm not. This is through text messages. He says, you come down to the hard rock tonight, I've got a lot going on and I don't feel well. You don't feel well? Helping people out is what I do. I went home real fast did a quick little shower kind of tried to knock off some of the cobwebs from this morning because it was a long morning and it, it wasn't hectic hectic but I did something I usually don't do and that was like a two mile walk <laughs> I don't usually walk so uh, walking kind of tired me out anyway went home didn't think I needed a nap but I passed out for a good 20 minutes and I got a phone call dude where you at I was like, oh gosh, I gotta go. So we're on our way to Hard Rock Cafe where from what I know right now, we're gonna be mixing a tribute band because there's a lot of tribute bands out there breaking in the dough. A bare naked ladies tribute band. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. But anyway, I don't wanna get into an accident here. So I'm gonna uh, stop recording.